So there seems to be an often overlooked uh, tuning thing going on where a lot of people who have CO2 lasers, they don't know that their power supply itself is tunable. So like I got this little screwdriver, you know, it's a little screwdriver, like one of those electronics ones. And on the DY13, this is a Resi W200 watt tube. So on the DY13, I'd actually have to flip, lay that on its side. And there's just a little hole and a little set screw. And um, a lot of people are saying that one of the things about their laser is that uh, their max milli amperage is, let's say, like 25. But they reach 25 at like 72%. And they're wondering why that doesn't match up. Well, if you test fire, if like, see my milliamp meters over there, um, <clears throat> my max is 24. So I, I'm running gerbil, but it's inconsequential. You're, you put the laser to max power and then you test fire the laser while adjusting that set screw on the bottom. And what you end up doing is, um, you make your 100% output signal from whatever your board is sending, you know, to your max amperage, and then they match so that you can't accidentally put in 100% and accidentally send your tube up to like 130 watts or whatever in my case and blow it, you know. So a lot of people don't seem to know that. It seems to be an often especially on the Chinese lasers. Uh, mine was DIY. I experienced this myself uh, when I first got this. Uh, this tube would only run, or this power supply would only run the tube up to like 18 milliamps at my uh, gerbil uh, S1000 setting. So now I tune the power supply and now my S1000 setting that comes out of my board is now interpreted as a 24 milliamp signal since that's what this tube this tube runs at like, I don't know, 85, 90 watts or something like that at 24 milliamps. And they said that's for longevity, so that's what I go for. But it's as simple as that. On your power supply, there is a small, it's a trim pot. You know, it's a small potentiometer and it's got a screw. You adjust the screw while test firing at 100% and you can tune your laser to 100% so that it's completely safe. You'll never blow it out. And uh, in my case, I had to tune it up so that it would actually get to, you know, 24 milliamps, whereas mine was 18. So simple as that. A seems to be a hidden secret of, or at least a lot of people don't know about this because I'm answering this question day in and day out where people can't get their system to match up correctly and they're just compensating. So there it is.